Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a remotable class, which is a DLL, which can be invoked over a network. So we'll start with a new project. And we're going to be using a class library. And we'll put it into this folder here. And so let's call it new class. Okay, so we'll create a DLL for us, which we can then call up over a network. Okay, so that creates our new class. So then what we'll do is we'll just copy and paste. Just to save time. And here is our class file. Okay, so we'll try and build that. That succeeded. So let's have a look to see if we can find our DLL. And here it is here. Okay, so this is the, the class file that we're actually going to call up from our program. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create the program which will activate the DLL actually on the server. So we'll go for a server activated object. Okay, the object itself will be called show capital, and in this case it will have a method called show. We'll pass in country and hopefully it will turn back a string from there. So we'll create a little standalone program. To activate it. So let's call this new class to. So the first thing we do is that uh, we add in our references. So we need to first bring in our remoting. So it's the runtime. System.runtime.remoting is the DLL that we need. And then we'll add in our recently created DLL. We should find it's in here. Okay, so that gives us a reference to remoting and also to the DLL that we've created. So to save time, what we'll do is we'll just Copy and paste. Okay, so this is going to activate the the object and listening on port one two three four TCP port one two three four, and then it will be a single call to it. So we'll invoke it, it will return a result, and then it will quit. Okay, so maybe if we have a look here, this is what we're doing. Okay, so the server object is here. This is the program we're creating. It will listen on port 1234, and then next what we'll do is we'll create a client and connect to the remoting system through a TCP channel. And this is what's described as a server activated object. Okay, so that succeeded. So we can run that if we want, but it won't actually do that much because we now need to create the client which will be able to connect to this server. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the client application which will actually call up the 
the, the program we created for our server activated object. OK, so let's go for a basic Windows program. And let's call it just the default name. Again, to save time, what we'll do is we'll just copy and paste. Okay, so in this case, it will create a form. And we we'll just add a button to it. Okay, so it's a very simple program. Basically, when the uh, if the program starts up, it will create a, a connection with the with the server activated object program. We register the channel, and then we'll connect in this case to the local IP address on port 1234, and call up the show capital object. We will then uh, we will then get the result from that, that object. So in this case what we'll do is that uh, we'll invoke it and start it up and then this here gives us uh, the call to it using the show method. Okay, so we need to add our references in to the DLL This defines what the, the class format is. So we can see now that we can actually see the, the definition of it. And we'll make sure that we have remoting added. We just need to add two more, two more text boxes. Text box one is the country we're going to ask for, and text box two, and then that will give us the reply. Okay, just check that we're all set up there. That's fine. Okay, so, so that's our program set up. We initiate the object remotely on the server and then when we click the button we should be able to get the country from the text box. It will call up our remote object, pass the country and then get the capital city back and everything should be okay. So the, the thing that we need to do is that we need to make sure that the server starts up first. OK, 
Okay, so what we need to do is to get is to get this one to start first, followed by this one. Okay, so this will start up the server program on our machine. Normally this would run remotely and then it will start up the Windows program. Okay, so we can see here there's the server program starting. So we'll just unblock because we trust this program. So just let's find one of the capital cities that's in our object and we'll go for England and there we go. So that returns back the capital of the country. So if we try Scotland, <coughs> it returns back Edinburgh. So we can see here what we've what we've actually done is to create our remotable object. Okay, so we created our, our DLL. This is our remote object. We created a server act activation object program, which listened on port one two three four, and then we created a client to be able to connect to it. A proxy is created on the client to be able to determine the connection details required for the uh, service to, to run. Okay, so if we look back, there was our program, very simple object called uh, Show Capital, and then the Marshall By object allows us to return back an actual object, a reference to it. The method with inside that is show and we can see that we we pass the value England and return back London for us. This shows us the actual server program which activates the object and keeps it running and is waiting for a connection and then we connect to do it with a very simple Windows program. Okay, so this shows how we create a dot net remoting component.